Hi everybody and welcome to my YouTube video. In this YouTube video I'll be telling you about the button update and how to use buttons. Now let's get into the video. So about two days ago, so a couple days ago, they had a button update in Obby Creator. And uh, the buttons are actually very useful for making a lot of different things like Flood Escape 2. You can, like, can make a Flood Escape 2 game with buttons. Like that would be really cool. So, basically what buttons do is you step on it, and a timer appears at the top, and it makes something visible, fade, or invisible. And then, uh, and the way to make this is you go in edit mode, and you uh, tap the button, by the way, is in, you go to advanced parts, and then uh, there's button, the top, on the top left, there's a button, and button deactivator. The button deactivator deactivates the button, so when you step on it, like here I can show you, so if I were to place this button deactivate right here, if I step on this button, if you notice the timer, it stops. The timer stops and this thing goes invisible again instantly. So that's what button deactivators do. And basically how you make the button is you go to this thing in, in um, where is it? Oh yeah, behavior. And there's button type, show timer, time, Player activated, push block activated, and objects. Basically, the block type says, um, like, which, like, if you want it to um, activate the fading parts, like, make the block fade, make the block invis turn invisible, or make the object or the block visible. So, like, how you would do that is if this block were to be visible, when you hit the button, it would just stay visible. So, you need to make it invisible so it can be... There, so you have to turn transparency to 1. Make sure you do that. That's how you can make that. So yeah, if you change the the show timer to false, when you tap, when you step on the button, it doesn't show the timer on the top of there. So like, if I were to step on it, you would not know when this thing disappears. It just randomly will disappear. Five seconds. And then turn this off, you wouldn't be able to tell. So, another thing is that... Uh, for the time, you can change the time to, like, infinity, or, like, I think the max is 600 seconds. That is a lot of seconds, so, yeah. Uh, when you look at the top of the screen, you can see it says 600 and counts down for, um, 600 to zero. The least amount of time you can have on there is a very, very, very small amount of time. You can have 0 0.1. Like, that is insanely low, but 5 seconds is the normal amount. Because then, you know, you have 5 seconds to see where the block is. But one thing that is weird is that when it disappears, you do, you are still able to jump on the block. So, it doesn't make the block gone, it just makes it invisible. So, yeah, another thing you can do with it is the, you can make it player activated. If you have it false, if someone walks on, it's not going to do anything. But, yeah. If you have it on push block activated, true. So if I have a, if I add a push block in here, which is under, I'm trying to find it, moving parts, push block. So push block, if I just add this here, boom, then I can push it like this, and it hits the button, and boom, the button appears. And then, yeah, so it's pretty cool. Same with the deactivator. Think so the oh never mind you can't like have it push ball activated I don't think a push ball can deactivate a timer maybe here no it can't so yeah you have that another thing in here is that you can um let's go fix this there we go you can set the objects so like let's say you want so you hit edit, and you tap on the object. So you tap on the object you want, that's invisible or not invisible, doesn't matter. And it turns red, that means you have it set, so when you turn this, you touch the button with a push block, or you just jump onto it, it turns, uh, like, it makes this visible, invisible, or fade. And then you hit confirm, and then you'll notice after you hit the button, it goes visible. So then, you can do this with multiple objects too, like I could do it with, like, this object, tap it on there, and the way to turn it off that you don't, like, you don't want it to, um, turn visible, invisible, or fade, is you tap on it, again, and it turns not red anymore. So yeah, it's pretty cool. 
And so that is the uh, button. That is those are the physics and everything of a button. Oh yeah, so for a push for a button deactivator, you can make it player activated or push block activated. So like I can actually you can have a push ball here. So I'm just gonna reset this push ball and so get it over there. Okay, here we go. Oh wow, that push ball is not coming over here. Okay, so he's gotta yeah, that push ball is not. Okay, I'll just add another push ball then. So yeah, if you have a push ball here, you can push it into the button deactivator. So if you have this one activated, push it into it and boom. So yeah, you can stop it too by tapping, like jumping on it if you have it set to that. You also, for, so you can make an obby. So like, here's an example of an obby you can make. So I made a little obby here with two buttons involved. So you just go on this. Oh, yeah, you don't need edit mode, and then you can go on here, and then you've got this little tightrope here, and then boom, jump on. So notice how this, even if it is invisible, you still can walk on it. Like when this is when it disappears, you are still able to. It's it's just invisible. It's not gone. It's in, it's just invisible. So yeah, that is the push ball update. It is a very cool update. Very good for making a ton of different obbies in Flood Escape 2 especially, or Flood Escape obbies. Like, those would be really fun to make. So anyway, remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell, and turn it to all. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everybody.